what's up you guys welcome to this video so today i will be talking about my experience shopping for instacart so if you guys don't know what instacart is it is a kind of like a delivery grocery service where a customer pays you an instacart shopper um to go out to a grocery store find all the things that they need and deliver it to them so it's a super easy and a super fun way to make some quick and extra money so i just wanted to talk about my experience the pros and cons and yeah if you guys are looking for a side hustle i definitely recommend instacart and let's get started with the review all right so the first thing that i really like about instacart is that you can pick up like kind of anytime so if you have an extra hour or two i wouldn't recommend not like having an extra 30 minutes because 30 minutes isn't enough time to go to the grocery store find all the things you need but if you have maybe an hour and a half to two hours i would say was would i bleh, would be the minimum that of extra time i would go to go on a thing it really depends on how many items they pick too but i wouldn't risk having to go somewhere in like within an hour and having to do an instagram thing but if you have a lot of extra time on you it with you if have a lot extra time then it's a pretty good thing to do all right, so the next thing that I really like about Instacart is the payment. So this is kind of a pro and con. So Instacart gives you a payment based off of how many miles you have to drive, how many items, you know, if it's a really heavy order, like you carry like a lot of like water bottles and stuff, they'll give you extra. I usually don't pick those up because I'm a kind of a small person. I don't, I can't really carry that much stuff and it is kind of a bigger hassle, but if you do want to and it's kind of an easier not too much of a struggle for you to carry heavier heavier items then you could also do those and then they also have peak boost so if an order has been sitting around and no instacart shopper has picked it up then you can then they might give you a little incentive so like raise the raise the pay and then you also have customer tips so the instacart pay it's really best if you get something on peak boost that no one has picked up or something that's like not really far away so obviously I think Instacart is way better than Uber or like Ubering like driving people or Uber Eats so like delivering food because there's a lot less mileage on your car so I try to pick the ones oh sorry this is another thing that's good about Instacart you could pick up whichever orders you want so I know with Postmates or Uber something just pops up you accept it there you go but this one you could scroll through a list of batches that are available and then you could pick which batch you want so batches are when you go to a grocery store and you go to a customer that is one batch but sometimes they go to a grocery store and you can deliver to two three customers three customers is the max and i really don't choose don't choose or recommend those because it gets really confusing when you're organizing your cart and then you might accidentally give something wrong to like the wrong person because there's just so many things going on and then you have to like keep on double checking that each thing is going to the right customer and then all the bags get like messed up in your trunk and you know stuff like that so i don't recommend three but two it's maybe all right and yeah you just really want to choose the ones with good tips because um the instacart the way it's formatted it is what it tells you it tells you how many miles you would have to drive it tells you about the exact location where it don't give you like the address of the place but they give you like a little map that shows you where you are where the store is and where the customer is so it like draws like a little like route for you so you can see how in general how far it would be so you would really want to pick the ones with the best tips because they do show you what the customer tips so sometimes if a customer don't tip doesn't tip then there won't be a lot of instacart shoppers that will pick up that order or want to pick up that order so it would be kind of sitting there a little while so i believe that is when peak boost uh, appears and so Instacart gets rid of that order, they will pay you more to pick up that order. It kind of makes up for the tip, but at the same time, you don't really want to always help. Like, you don't want to give service to someone that doesn't tip. Like, that kind of sucks, right? Okay, so also I found out the people that are pretty good tippers in the app, they're probably going to be the most problematic. Um, I had this one customer and he ordered like so many bottles of like sparkling water and um yeah it was kind of like a big pain in the butt because like we didn't have enough and he wanted like specific stuff and i didn't get a tip for that that order either so it's kind of like you know so i just believe if 
they tip a lot generally not always but i think they'll kind of be like a little bit nicer this little light thing was right here so next thing that i want to say is that um a thing that's good about instacart is that there is a how do i say it it's like okay so you have the option to just pick up whatever order you want right if you want to do like a kind of instacart shift you want to spend like a whole five hours of your day taking instacart orders you can definitely do that and it's a definitely good way to make some money but you won't necessarily get the most for your time so say you're doing it consistently you're gonna pick up an order after you do another order you might not always get the best batches so if you want to wait like a few minutes see if a good batch comes up you can but like then at the same time that i'll also waste a little bit of time and if it doesn't if a really good batch doesn't show up then it's kind of like okay what's the point so one time i did like a four hour like instacart like my little shift um and i just like kind of picked up around like 20 dollars with tip kind of orders and you know those are really good but at the same time if i one time i also just waited at home and i wasn't really like necessarily like looking to work but i did get a notification for a 30 dollar batch that the house wasn't that far away like really good tip there wasn't too many items so i thought that it would be a pretty good thing to do so i actually um it only took me an hour and a half to do and i got paid 30 dollars. so that is about 20 dollars per hour even though i only work an hour and 30 minutes but at the same time it's not like i'm gonna work like I only made $30 for the day by waiting for that order, you know? So you do get more for your time, but you won't really maximize the maximize the amount of money you can get. So it just kind of depends if you're really tight on money or you really want to make more money because um, if you want to make more money, then you should probably just keep on taking not bad orders, obviously, but pretty good, like decent orders that pop up. All right, so another thing that I recommend, this is like a little pro tip, is that you try to go to the same store all the time. So Fred Meyers is about 10 minutes from me, um, kind of farther than I would like. Um, I live next to Albertsons, but Albertsons doesn't get a lot of Instacart orders, but I usually go to Fred Meyers and I've been to Safeway a few times, but the thing is if you go to the same store, you're gonna start to know where everything is. So I know exactly where coffee creamers are because everyone loves to order coffee creamers on Instacart. So if you just kind of understand the layout, especially if you do grocery shopping there yourself, you're probably gonna know where everything is. So tell me where the shit, you want shredded cheese? I know exactly which aisle to go to. So another thing with Instacart is that it tells you which aisle everything is in. So that makes it really easy. But at the same time, some aisles are really long. So you're just gonna have to do a little finding of your things a little bit and yeah so even though they tell you where what aisle is which i think is really helpful you do ha still have to do a little looking around yourself right so another thing that i also wanted to talk about is the fact that like you could do replacements so basically when you do a replacement that means that the item that the customer wants they give you the exact item so sometimes it would be like oh i want like how do i say this like oh i want salted like i don't know salted peanuts right and the only thing available in the store is unsalted peanuts and you just kind of have to decide for yourself if like they want the same brand of peanuts so like there's one brand of peanuts that they wanted salted there wasn't any but they also have the same thing unsalted which is the same brand but you could also get a salted thing of another brand but it could be more expensive so it just has to be like something that you kind of like figure out for yourself and if you really need to then you could message the customer but that does waste a little bit of time because if they keep on asking for specific stuff you know it wouldn't really maximize your time oh so another thing that i wanted to talk about right now i am instacarting during the covid 19 pa pandemic um, make sure you wear gloves, mask, you know, stay safe while you're at the grocery store, obviously. Um, but another thing, just with the general bus busyness of the store, your time might not also not be maximized because there are so many people in checkout lines. So maybe keep that in mind if um, you're trying to do this to make up some money due to the pandemic. Maybe you lost a job or got your hours cut. Um, 
this is a really good side hustle just make sure you stay safe and you know if you need the money i think it's a very good option so another thing that i really like about lindsay descartes is that it's very very straightforward so there's a little demo i wouldn't this light okay i'm gonna move here there's there's a little demo um i wouldn't really recommend it paying too much attention to the demo it kind of makes everything complicated because there, apparently there are drivers and then there are like just people that just shop which i think is just kind of weird i think it's the people that are actually hired but for um for me i'm like kind of a independent like contractor that just uses their service to go shop and then go drive so it's kind of different um wouldn't rec really recommend the demo but the thing is with instacart is that it's so 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 easy to like use they walk you through everything and like each and every time they're just like okay show this barcode make sure you do the second barcode like make sure you do it before you start like the cashier starts scanning scanning items and you know a lot of the times um these stores already know about instant card shoppers so it's not going to be like super weird and like confusing all the ca cashiers they knew they're just like oh okay instacart scan you know so very easy um and all the cashiers are really nice so yeah, I've actually started to like get to know like some of the employees at Fred Meyers, like kind of um, Just because I'm just like always there kind of funny. All right guys So that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got a few extra tips and tricks and Whether to see if you like Instacart or something that will help you out maximizing your time and your money. So yeah Basically, that is it. I really enjoy doing Instacart and I definitely recommend it to anyone that's looking for extra money or if you want to do this for your full-time job, that would be cool too. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!